According to the optimal purchase rule, people will buy a product as long as its marginal utility exceeds or is equal to its price. If the MU is less than the price, then it's not worth buying. The following table is showing quantity consumed with its marginal utility, which is the extra satisfaction. An example is if you consume the first unit, it gives you extra satisfaction of six units. If you consume two units, the additional unit is giving you an extra satisfaction of five and so on. Now that we know how to calculate marginal utility and total utility, the question is, how do we use this information and derive a demand curve? So the rule is that price should be equal to your marginal utility or your MU should be greater than the price. Then only the consumers will buy the good. So if the price is $7, then we are looking at MU of 7 or more. And if you see when the price is $7, there is no unit that, that is giving you 7 units of satisfaction. Therefore, at $7, the quantity demand will be zero. When the price drops to $6, we are looking at MU of 6 or more. And MU of 6 is given by unit 1. Therefore, at $6, we will be buying one unit. When the price drops to $5, we are looking at MU of 5 because price has to be equal to MU. Therefore, the quantity demanded will be 2. When the price drops to 4, we are looking at MU of 4. Therefore, quantity demanded will be 3. Drops to 3, we are looking for MU of 3, which is not available. Therefore, you look for output that gives you more than 3 utils of satisfaction. In this case, consumers will choose MU of 4. Therefore, quantity demanded will be 3. When the price drops to 2, we are looking at MU of 2. Therefore, quantity demanded will be 4. When the price drops to 1, we are looking for MU of 1, which is not available. Therefore, we look for output that gives us more than one unit of satisfaction. In this case, consumers will choose MU of 2. Therefore, quantity demanded will be 4.